Our Super Fitness Weight Loss Challengers, they have been working hard for a couple of weeks now. So it is time for our new series focusing on food during the challenge. Kaylee Kirby takes a look at the snacks we usually grab, but no, aren't the best. Hello, challengers. My name is Kaylee. This is the first installment of your food related segments with Super Fitness Weight Loss and this challenge. So we've got Maddie joining us here. She is from Mercy Health. This segment we are calling This Versus That. So we are trying to show different ideas for popular snacks, drinks, and desserts, and how you can make a better choice by just some quick changes and easy things you can purchase at the grocery store. So let's start with this side of the table, the first snacks that we have. Yeah, so here's a typical one for maybe little kids. You think about uh, fruit snacks being a healthy choice because they have fruit in the name, mm. but typically they have a lot of added sugars in them. And um, although they're very fun for little kids, it might be better to do a um, fruit cup such as mm -hmm. like blueberries and grapes, which I have here. Um, you'll get more fiber there, which is gonna help fill you up and keep you full for longer. An alternative to chips is just something crunchy. So you could do the um, regular celery, carrots, broccoli. Mm -hmm. This is just your typical like snack tray here with a ranch or a low fat dressing instead that you like. And then another crunchy snack would be um, the almonds and the almonds are gonna be a good source of healthy fats and some good protein there as well and nice and crunchy, satisfying. So now we've moved from the snacks going to our drink area. Yes. Uh, let's talk about the first one. Yeah, so my first one here is apple juice. You would think would be a good choice because again, it's got that fruit in the name, um, but actually just regular apple juice here has got uh, six teaspoons of sugar. Wow. And instead of doing the apple juice, you could just do the raw apple itself because you're not getting that fiber mm. that you get from the actual apple itself when you um, just drink the juice. And that fiber is what helps fill us up. It keeps our stomachs full. The next group uh, we have is is a fan favorite dessert. Yes. I yeah. see that ice cream right there. <laughs> yes, and I too have a sweet tooth. I always joke. And my favorite combo is peanut butter and chocolate. I'm okay, a big peanut yeah. butter and chocolate girl. Um, so I've just got your typical peanut butter and chocolate ice cream here. And um, really this has got three different servings in it. So wow. instead a good way to um, indulge a little bit. It doesn't mean you can never have ice cream again. So you could do like a non-fat yogurt and it, this is pretty low in sugar, but it is a vanilla flavor. Only one gram of added sugar, which is very low. And then add a little bit of peanut butter and some chocolate chips on top to give you that satisfying peanut butter chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. And kind of sweet tooth mix it up. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Maddie. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Uh, all of these swaps that we can make to help make things a lot better when we're eating and working out and trying to lose weight. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll have another one in the next month. Bye. <laughs> I am so guilty of saying, here, here's a fruit snack. That's good for you. Right, or you can have ice cream after you eat your pizza. Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> on top, on top, on top. Yeah.